Thanks for joining on this beautiful Saturday afternoon. A few weeks back, I published a video entitled Output, Transformer, Impedance. The purpose of that video was to share the technique that I use to test an unknown output transformer to understand the turns ratio. I'll put a link in this video back to that video that will get in more depth of why that's important. But real quick, I wanted to share this particular matrix. I failed or omitted this from the video. And this just simplifies things for folks that are new to the hobby that uh, don't want to fool around with the particular math. So again, just a quick recap. The turns ratio here is defined by the square root of the load resistance of the tube divided by the voice coil impedance. So let's look at a few examples here in this particular matrix for a few known output tubes and I'll show you how to apply the matrix just to keep things simple and easy. Okay, a look at the uh, matrix now. Again, I have the uh, voice coil impedance called out here at the bottom and again I have the uh, load resistance here on the left hand side called out. So real quick, we'll assume we have a speaker with a 8 ohm voice coil and for example, we'll reference a 50L6 output tube. And if we look in the tube manual, you'll typically find it's around 2,000 ohms with a B plus voltage of around 110 volts. So I can actually go from my 8 ohms up to the 2,000. In this case, I'll go over to my 2,000 mark and I'm going to just work my way over here and come back down. And if you look at this now, you'll see the turns ratio here for 2,000 load resistance at 8 ohms for the impedance of the voice coil, not the DC resistance, would be a turns ratio of 16 to 1. Let's look at one more example. Okay, here's another example. Let's say we're working with a uh, Type 42 tube or a 6F6. I think electrically they're the same. And we'll say we're using, again, that particular tube in a Class A, not a, in a push-pull circumstance. So again, if I look at the tube manual, I'll see that the load resistance is right at 7K, or 7,000 um, ohms. So I'm going to go ahead and circle that here for reference. And let's say this particular uh, older speaker that I'm working with as a uh, voice coil of 4 ohms. Again, I can just connect those two points. So I'll bring this up and go across. And you can see the turns ratio that I would need would be a transformer with a 42 to 1 turns ratio would be a great match for the Type 42 or the 6F6 tube. Okay, again, if the tube was used in a push-pull configuration, you can see that the load resistance is closer to 10K here. And that would make the turns ratio needed be 50 to 1. So anyway, I hope this helps out. Thanks again for viewing. Hang in there with me. This uh, cold snap that uh, all of us have seen on the uh, whole eastern part of the uh, United States has uh, hampered my ability to be able to do any cabinet work. So uh, we'll get back to the uh, zenith here as soon as possible. Again, thanks for watching. Take care.